Jesus doesn't understand my problems. He doesn't know what I've been going through. Um, actually, he does and more. You see, the agony in the garden is um, this mystery in our faith where I don't think we quite get the magnitude of what Jesus suffered and endured. The scripture tells us that his agony was so great that he sweat drops of blood. Like, I mean, I've been stressed in my life, but I don't think I've ever sweated blood. And so what was going on in that moment? Well, mystically speaking, he saw what we, he was about to endure on the cross. He saw the suffering that laid ahead. Uh, especially during Good Friday, and he knew exactly what he was in for. But more than that, in that moment in time, he experienced all at once, all the sin, all the suffering, all the evil, all the ugliness of each and every one of our lives, and he experienced it in that one hot moment, and he embraced it. And I don't even know what that's like. I think my head would explode, because when I am frustrated at someone, or I am hurting for someone, that can be overwhelming, and that's just one person. But let alone every human being who has ever lived, and his love is perfect. So what does that even look like? It's incredible to think that though he endured this kind of pain and suffering, he decided to embrace it, to carry the cross to Calvary, and to die so that we could be redeemed. We can't say that he doesn't understand, because he's endured it all, just by virtue of the fact that he united himself mystically to all of us. So he knows everything in our lives. So friends, this Lent, as we continue our journey to Good Friday and to ultimately Easter Sunday, I want you to remember something, that God does understand exactly what you're going through. That in that garden 2,000 years ago, He was there with you. I don't know what you're enduring. I don't know what the suffering in your life looks like. I don't know what the drama looks like in your life, but we have a God who understands. We have a God who is in you, who is with you, and who is going to walk you through. So do not be afraid. God is good. 